So here are three worded problems, and what I need to do is find the differential equation that goes with them. So for the first one, the rate of change of the distance s travelled by a particle is directly proportional to the square of the time t taken. OK, so the rate of change of the distance with respect to time, so ds by dt, and we're saying it's directly proportional to the square of the time t. So in other words, it's proportional to t squared. So if we're saying that it's directly proportional to t squared, so ds by dt will be equal to k t squared. That is the differential equation I would then need to solve. OK, so that's number one. Number two, the rate of increase of the number of bacteria in a Petri dish, n, is inversely proportional to the square root of the number of bacteria. So the rate of increase of the number of bacteria in a Petri dish, n, so we'll write it as dn by dt. So the number of bacteria over time is inversely proportional to the square root, so 1 over, inversely proportional, to the square root of the number of bacteria. Now, the number of bacteria is n, so the square root of n. So if we're saying that, then dn by dt would be equal to k lots of, well, k lots of 1 over root n, or k over root n. OK? And that would be number 2. Number three, the rate at which a sunflower increases in height is proportional to the natural logarithm of the difference between its final height, capital H, and its height, lowercase h, at a particular time. Right, OK, there's a lot of stuff there. So its height is h, OK? So dh by dt. And we're saying that that is proportional to the natural logarithm of the difference between its final height and its height h. OK? So it must be capital H minus lowercase h. And it's got to be that way around. Otherwise, what you'll get is a negative value within the logarithm. Because its final height is certainly going to be as tall as it's going to get, right? So if we had it the other way around, we're going to get a negative value in there. So if we're saying that, then dh by dt must be k lots of the natural logarithm of capital H minus lowercase h. OK, and that is how we can take a worded problem and go directly to the differential equation. And then the next step would be solving it in some cases. Okay? Not all cases of going from this to a differential equation will then eventually get you to solve it. Okay? Because in some cases, you might not be able to solve it. Okay? But the, tr the actual problem that you're faced with is just setting up the differential equation at this stage.